Hey everybody, this is Joe over at Synergy 17 and today I'm going to show you um, how to make some patterns. Uh, people are liking the, the new macro that we have and so uh, along with this macro you can create your own patterns and use them uh, to apply to your text or to your, your shapes and stuff. So people ask me, hey, well, how do I get it for free? How do I get the macro for free? And I said, well, submit a pattern and I'll send you a code so you can get it for free. So anyways, um, patterns really are aren't that hard to make you could either create a shape like for example let's just do um, let's do a star here I could grab a star fill it with a color hit duplicate I could do something like that and then you know uh, of course align oops align it space it out and then create that pattern over and over so, and that would be a pattern. Um, you could, you know, we could do something like this. We can create, let's, let's create a line there. Let's give it some thickness. And uh, actually, before we do that, let's add some points in here. Make it a curve. And we'll put this up here, pull this one down here, put this one up here. Let's get some thickness here. Um, I only want to make my patterns 12 inches. You can make them as big as you want, but I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll duplicate that. Actually, sorry, before I do that, I want to show you something. If I hit a wireframe, you can see it's just a line. So it's really not that thick. So that would make a good pattern. I actually have to have this thickness. So up here, I'm going to go here and say convert outline to object, and you'll see now that I hit wireframe, you can see it's actually that thick now. So I'm going to duplicate that, do that a bunch of times, and see that's like 14 inches tall. I really don't need it that tall, so let's back it off a little bit. I'm going to center it. Um, I'm going to combine it. So now when I change the color, you'll see how that works. So, so that's a pattern. I can say file, save as, and what I want to do is I want to put this in my patterns directory, which is in my, uh, it's, it's, it's where your user uh, directory is. So this is an old XP machine, so it's under documents and settings. The newer one is under users on Windows 7 and above. So I'll go to administrator, I'll go to application data, corral draw, there's my S17 patterns. I can just call this guy wavy one or whatever you want to call it. I'll save it. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So now let's see if it works. So I'm going to say wavy. Oops. No, 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 first time. Okay, oops. Wavy. Let's give it a thick. Let's make that um, 10 inches. Make it a little bit taller. So <clears throat> I'm going to launch the macro. And I should have a new one in here called Wavy. And there it is at the bottom. So I'm going to give it a color. Apply the pattern. And there you go. So it took the pattern that we brought in and it applied it to it. So um, it's, it was pretty easy to, to create that pattern. Um, and you can see it goes straight across. What we could do, let me undo that. Let me, uh, let me go back to the pattern before I deleted it. You can do simple something as simple as this. You can rotate this. I know you have a different pattern. That would be applied to it. You can turn it all the way this way if you want. And you'd have another pattern. So uh, all you got to do is save these patterns in the folder. And... Um, as you launch the macro, it'll appear in here, so you have you can add more and more patterns. Um, if you're not sure on your path, like where do I put the pa S17 pattern folder? If you type in CMD, it gives you a DOS prompt. If you type in set, it'll give you all the variables for it. And up at the top, it says app data equals the, for this computer, it's documents and settings, administrator, app data. Then you find the Corel draw folder. It says Corel. Um, on my other my Windows 7, it's usually 
C users, then JTOVAR slash app data, etc. So you just got to find out where that folder is, put the full, uh, sorry, find the path, put the S17 pattern folder in there, and then um, you can create your own uh, patterns.